Hey, John Dorsey here, work with JohnD.net. You wanna know why money is in the list and the fortunes in the follow-up and how to truly harness the power of email marketing? Well, stay tuned. <music> Okay, so welcome back. Like I talked about in the intro, we're going to talk about the power of email marketing, building your email list. So as you see, I drew up something real quick. Don't mind my art. I'm not known as an artist, but I think I did a pretty good job considering I drew these boxes and letters and stuff with a mouse. So uh, as you see, let me put a pointer here. Okay, as you see where my pencil is, so traffic is where you start out with. You start out with driving traffic to a lead capture page. And I've talked about in other videos why it's important to have to to have a, a lead capture page. That way you can build your email list. And I've talked about resources online or tools online like Lead Sleep. And there's other tools out there you can use like click funnels and stuff like that to build your lead capture pages. But that's we're not gonna get into that into in this video, and I'll put links to that stuff in below this video. But you start off with traffic. Let me change the color. Start off with traffic, and driving it to your lead capture page so you can collect emails. Do so you direct them to a thank you page? But a thank you page would be, you know, because this traffic coming into your lead capture page is cold traffic, as in they don't know you, they don't know who they don't know who you are, they don't know what you're about, so they have to be warmed up to. You know who you are so a good way to do that is to put some kind of page in between uh the, the lead capture page and your thank you page and that could be a video of yourself it doesn't necessarily i recommend it be a video it doesn't have to be a video it could be just uh some some text with your picture on it but i recommend it be a video and you just saying you know thank you for opting in and then giving them a short training or introduction to whatever is on this sales page that could be an affiliate product it could be your own product that could be a service, whatever it is. On the thank you page, you're talking about what they're going to get when they click the button to go to the next page, which will be the sales page. Uh, but keep in mind, these people also ended up on your list down here. But on your thank you page, like I said, you'll talk about, hey, my name's, you know, your name. You'll say your name. My name's, you know, my name's John Dorsey. I want to thank you for opting in. And what you're going to see when you click the button below on the next page is a resource that I've used or that has helped me do something that has helped a lot of people do something or, you know, whatever the uh, result is. The person who opted in wants to get a certain result. Don't talk about features. Just talk about what the person can gain. What are the benefits? of them taking action on the next page. And another pro tip is when you set up the lead capture page, your lead capture page isn't necessarily to promote the sales page. Your lead capture page ideally should be to promote your video. So your thank you video should be the video they're getting for free or the ebook or an ebook they can download or a tool or a piece of software. And then that will be uh, the lead in to whatever the sales page will give them. So let's say on the sales page, we'll show them how to, you know, let's say it's a weight loss product. So the sales page will, sh will show them how to lose, you know, a pound a week in weight loss. Your thank you page can also give them, let's say, three weight loss tips, or your ebook can give them three or five or seven weight loss tips. So that's what your thank thank you page will be. You know, I've used this product on the next page to lose ten pounds in the last week, or ten pounds in the last month, or ten, you know, whatever it is. Or if it's a make money online product, I've used the product on the next page to uh, build pages like this or to set up my business to become successful or I've earned or if you you know only if these things are true don't get on your thank you page and say this I use <laughs> this product on the next page I, I've used to make ten thousand dollars in the last two weeks if that didn't happen don't say it 
If that did happen, okay, you can say it and then you can show your results. But we want to be honest here because, you know, you will eventually be found out and then you'll lose credibility and it'd be harder for you to build a business from now on out because no one will trust. It'd be hard to find people who will trust your information. So, all right, so, <clears throat> so we're building your email list and now you get into email marketing and people will get an email from you that same day when they opt in, which will be email one. And that will also introduce them to who you are. Maybe even put a picture of yourself in the email, maybe put a picture of your family and yourself in the email if you're comfortable with doing that. But you want to warn people up to who you are, show them you're a real person, show them that you have had the same struggles they may have be, may have had or having. Uh, and then from your email, redirect them to the sales page. You know, because you, you know, maybe they did click the button on the thank you page, but chances are they didn't. You know, a typical click-through rate on a thank you page, I would say, is about 20%. So 20% of the people who end up on your thank you page will click the button to see the sales page. So let's drop off along the way as they go through this funnel. And then you have your email list. People will click the link in the email. Now that's, you know, usually your first email is the one that's opened the most. So having a 40% open rate, 30 percent 40 percent open rate on your first emails is pretty good and that should be what you get should be I'm not saying it is if it's not that high you might want to check your traffic but um and then your, from your first email should redirect them back to the sales page and your first email should allow them to download like if you're giving away an ebook or a tool or a piece of software download the tool software or ebook in that first email now you see here I got blog. Now you might not want to do this route, but this is what I would call a pro tip: is to in your next, you know, you got your your second, third, fourth, you know, emails. You'll you'll be talking about this offer, but you also will be sharing value with your email list on how to helping them get X results. So whatever the result they're trying to get, whatever they opted in to learn more about, you can share posts on your blog or it can also be social media posts. It could be uh, YouTube posts, but you want it to be something you control like a blog because your YouTube account, your, your Instagram, your Facebook, all that stuff can be shut down for whatever reason, but your blog is yours and you control it. You control what's on it. You control uh, the links, you, you know, it's yours. So I recommend you get a blog and there's free blogs you can use. But when you're building a business, you're going to, have to spend some money. And th these aren't expensive. It's not like it's thousands of dollars to have a blog. I mean, you can get hosting in a, in a domain name for less than maybe a hundred dollars. Just depends on who you go with. Um, and there's tools like Leadsly which I'll put a link to below this video that will, uh, what is Leasley? Yeah, I'll put, a, I'll give you some resources below this video and uh, you can decide what works best for you. So, and then if a person takes action on your sales page, whether it's from your email list or from your blog, you earn a commission and the person gets the thing they wanted. And the other advantage of having a blog where you're following up with your list with value via your blog is then you can promote unlimited offers. You know, you can, let's say you, you pitch, you pitch on email one, of course, pitch on email two, and then value on email three, value on email four, value on email five, and then pitch again in email six. And that value will be coming, will be coming from your blog. You know, use this value. And this builds no like and trust with your subscribers, and they're more likely to buy from you. And not only the the most powerful thing about an email list, not only will they buy from you or potentially buy from you, is that they'll stick. They'll stick around because. You, 
you're providing good information. You're not always trying to push a product on them. You're not always trying to put them, get them in something. You're not always trying to sell them something. You're actually giving them training, uh, access to tools and resources and stuff that they can use and that will help them uh, achieve their goals. And you can promote unlimited offers via your blog. So you have your general posts, right? And then you have a sidebar, typically on a blog, which could have other either banner ads, it could be ads in general, you can host ads from other affiliate marketers. But the key is to have a resource tab on your blog, and this will be business resources. So what does a person need to have to build an online business? They need to have a marketing system, they need to have a host, uh, a domain name or multiple domain names, just depending on how, you know, they want to set things up. They need a way to track clicks. They need a, uh, they need hosting. They need uh, an email service like an Aweber or a Git Response. Uh, they may need tax counseling. You know, this is once you're finally making money. You know, these are b different business resources that you can have under a resource tab on your blog, which is another way you can make money. So like I said, your blog allows you to have unlimited offers. And all, and then this email list that you built, you own. And you can market these offers to your list. As this list gets bigger, your income gets bigger. And that's the power of, of email marketing is that you control that list, you control your blog, if you choose to do the blog route, and you can promote unlimited offers to your list, either directly or through your blog. So, I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, like it, share it, subscribe. And if you want to get access to a resource that'll help you get your first 500 subscribers, that'd be at the link below this video. Click on it, enter your email address, and you'll be forwarded to a video that'll explain that more in detail. Otherwise, I'll talk to you again soon.